Hello, my name's Kevin Stratton. Most of you already know me anyway, so that's pretty pointless. Uh, I'm a former cinema projectionist, former cinema cleaner, former cinema usher, usherette as well to be honest, and cinema manager. Um, and I am today living the boyhood dream, having projected on platters and towers, on I think about six or seven different types of projector. Today, I get the chance, which will probably be my last 35mm film, because I can't imagine I'm going to get the opportunity again, to project and do a changeover on 35mm. Now, it's not like the old changeovers where uh, projectionists would change reels every sort of 20 minutes or so. These are double reels, thankfully, so I've already done two changeovers today. One went well, the other one eventually went okay. Um, but I'll be doing uh, four changeovers tonight, and for what could be my last film, it will be Star Trek Into Darkness. Absolutely brilliant film. So here we are in the West Way in Froome in Somerset. Uh, the beautiful beast you'll see next to me is a uh, West Star projector. And if I pick up my lovely little MacBook, here we go. you also see it's got a matching buddy. Let's take a little walk over here. So here we have uh, our lovely West Star projector uh, running with a projector number one, an almost impeccable mechanism actually. Um, it's running exceptionally sweet for a machine that's so old. Uh, absolutely glorious sound. I wish this had smell of vision on it because the smell of the oil on Westrex and West Stars are, well, if you've worked with them you'll know it's lovely. Anyway, this one is laced up and ready to go. Uh, laced up with uh, number three in the gates, it'd be an almost instantaneous start. You can see the black leader of the film taking over straight away after a little header. So that one's all ready to go. Uh, a pair of very familiar uh, rectifiers down there, uh, only familiar to me and probably Mr. Redstone, but there we go. There's our uh, sound system on the wall. Wowzers. <laughs> no, it does the job. It perfectly does the job uh, in quite a small auditorium. Uh, that allows us to fade up and down with actual clicks on it. So there isn't a six and three quarters, it's six or it's seven. It will not let you go to six and three quarters. Uh, let's go over to it a little more lighter with our projector number two. That one has got reels three and four laced up and ready to go, so about five to eight. I'll strike both lamps and we'll be away. Uh, I'm going to attempt to film the changeover, but you probably won't be paying too much attention at that point especially if it goes wrong in this video. If it does, we'll never see the light of day. <laughs> um, but just to take a little closer look when you do the changeover, for those of you who don't know, uh, we've got the motor switch here, so when we see the first dot come through on the screen with uh, number eight laced in the gate, we'll uh, start the projector off there. As soon as it's up to speed, we'll open the manual dowser there. Uh, we've also kept a finger on the take-up spool at the bottom because it does tend to be a bit jittery, as all take-up spools are at the start. And, uh, and then it's all eyes on the screen. There's the auditorium screen just through there. Not sure how much of a look you can get there. Probably just see the reflection of a MacBook more than anything else. Uh, but what you will uh, be looking for is uh, the two dots. And then it's these two buttons here. It's this one here, which I'll slide across here. That changes the sound from projector one to projector two. And this which operates the solenoid, which opens a mechanical shutter on projector two and closes it on projector one. There's also something fancy going on with the sound because they don't have to do anything about the sound on projector one, it just runs through. So that's very, very, uh, very lucky. And I'm also very lucky for the last show, in the fact that uh, adverts have been stopped at this cinema uh, due to digital coming in very soon. So uh, I don't have to do any fancy lens changing or anything. We'll be running in the cinema scope and cinema scope only. Without a shadow of a doubt, I'm not sure you can pick it up on here. I'll get a little closer, you might just be able to make it out. That is the weirdest most box-shaped anamorphic lens I think I've ever seen. But it does the job. Very good picture here at the West Way. Very good. Uh, for those uh, stage lighting aficionados, there's a, a nice little 8-channel, uh, 1,000-watt micro-8 rank-strand dimmer uh, with more non-working channels than working channels, as is always the case. Uh, but it does the job, I suppose. Anyway, lovely little cinema. Even a motorised rewinding bench. But you do have to cover the, uh, the starter switch 
with a little cloth because uh, apparently get an electric shock off of it. So that's all good. Anyway, I'm going to put this down on here now. That's enough of me rambling on for five minutes, but a little tour of the Westway projection room. And uh, the next thing you'll see will be me hopefully doing a successful changeover. It'll be changeover one, two, three or four. Nobody knows. I won't let you know. I'll just show you the best one. So here we are with just a couple of minutes to go. Just waiting for the ice cream cell to finish. Uh, the noise you can hear are the two very quiet rectifiers. I'd be surprised if you can hear me. There's a Mac sat next to one of them. Just had to change a beer barrel, no joke. There we go, that's a changeover. Now to check the sound on this uh, next pair of reels. Come with me, have a trip. A couple of minutes before Real 8 credits start to roll at the end of Star Trek, so uh, we'll some lighting and some sound. And then it'll be time to go home. Really enjoyed my time here at the Westway. Definitely come and support this local cinema, especially when it goes digital. And sadly, 45 mil will be a thing of the past, but it's, uh, it's been an absolute privilege to be here. So thank you for watching, and uh, well, hope to see you soon. The final frontier. Oh, yeah. Provide your mission.